Welcome back to Creative Excuses. We are at the last boss of Vatashran Hollows on a score run on a warden using one of the scribe skills, which I will show you after this. It serves a very specific purpose because wardens have terrible sustain and it's kind of fun. And we are impulsively recording this right at the very end. So let's let's hope I can pull this out. It's a very very odd reason to use this, but it's basically just a sustain skill, which is hilarious. But the damage is still really strong, and Macabre Vintage is absolutely destroying these guys. Like, destroying. It's great. Let's put that down. I want him to run this way if I can because then he'll stay in the area of effect. So basically, we're just using two spammables, and it's because Warden Sustain is terrible, and you can set up the uh, Soul Strike. Not Soul Strike. I don't know what it's called. Soul Punch. You can set it up to become a sustainability, and a really good one at that. The funny thing is, I think I can actually go faster than we're going now because I overkilled really hard on the penetration. You only need about 9k pen, maybe 10k, uh, when you're using a Magicka build, which I am, and I have like 15k. Let's just get a heavy attack in there so we can get everything up. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the ability spam. The ability spam? I mean, the video spam. The new PTS has been a lot of fun. And of course, my main account is uh, currently banned because of the PTS issues. And so I don't, I can't really do anything on the main game. Do some damage. Can we get you lower? Okay, so we're low on Magicka, which is not great, but it's okay because we have full stamina. I actually want to attack you. There we go. Nailed it. We're running low on Magicka, so we're going to spend our stamina. And slap a beach ball a bunch of times. Run over here, pop a potion. And beat the boss. I'm going to guess 302k is the score. Boom. 304? Oh. My gosh, this is the fastest I've ever done this. Like, that's not my fastest final fight, but that's the fastest I've ever done Vatashran, I think. 304. Right? Or is 305 my fastest? 2638. That's pretty good for a one bar build. Wow. I'm going to show you guys the build really quick because it's super simple. The most important things are we have the threads of war in one piece medium, five pieces or four pieces of light. Then we have light slime craw, and then we have one piece medium macabre vintage. But the most important things are, of course, threads of war giving us 100% status effect chance on our light attacks, meaning every single light attack with a frost staff procs chilled. And that is a crap load of damage on a warden. Like a crap load. We'll get there. We'll, we'll look at that in a second. And then Macabre Vintage, of course, is just popping off. It makes your AoE clear so good in here because everything has around that 50k to 80k mark HP. So they die really fast, but they max out this proc and they just chunk each other. It's freaking awesome. Uh, then we're using a Magicka Enchant on the weapon because, again, Warden Sustain is absolutely garbage. And then, of course, we need the skills. We've got Force Pulse because area of effect, lots of damage. This is really good. Deep Fissure, lots of penetration, lots of damage. Excellent. 
Arctic Blast. This is our burst heal because we don't have any heals over time. And it's really good frost damage. Also can proc chilled, has a higher chance of proccing chilled on top of its passives, which is really cool. It's really good. Uh, Winter's Revenge is awesome. Obviously, it's a really solid dot, but it, the fact that it procs chilled so often is amazing. And then Guardian Savagery. Uh, this is the Wild Guardian, the Bleed Damage Guardian, because the status effect is more valuable. It's stronger. It has an increased chance to proc it. And we're never going to use the ultimate because we're going to leave it at 500 for the Champion Point Strategic Reserve. This is basically the same setup as uh, you can see in my Warden build video, except... We've got Sundering Soul. This is a physical damage version. It deals 9,604 physical damage, which is cool. It restores 1,000 Magicka and 1,000 Stamina, and it afflicts the enemy with Major Cowardice for 10 seconds. What this is doing is so, so much. <clears throat> First, it's doing damage. That's fine. The most important thing about it dealing damage is it gives us damage that we can cast with stamina instead of magicka because all of this is magicka and all of it costs way too much the warden cannot sustain i was a breton with a magicka enchant with two recovery glyphs playing a magicka warden with five magicka skills and actually four magicka skills and the betty netch here instead and i still could not sustain a rotation for a three mil dummy i would still run out of magicka even with Try stat potions on cooldown like you're supposed to. It's ridiculous. So I was trying to solve the stamina problems. I was like, I couldn't do it. I went to the scribing stuff and I was like, I couldn't do it. And then I was like, wait, I had forgotten that Sundering Soul, the, the soul spammable, has the coolest restore ever. It just restores 1,000 Magicka, 1,000 stamina. So it makes it cost only 1,592 stamina overall. But for every 1,592 stamina I spend, I get 1,000 Magicka. That is amazing for sustain, and you can do this in either direction. If you want to sustain your stamina, you can swap this over to a Magicka Morph and do the exact same thing. It is really strong that you can just exchange Magicka for stamina or stamina for Magicka. And then it applies Major Cowardice, and that gives you more defense because it makes whatever the big target is that you're punching in the face, it makes them hit way less hard. It's awesome. This is a fantastic skill. I forgot to go over the combat metrics. Here we go. Chilled. We did 319 procs of chilled in this fight. On the main boss, we did 159 procs of chilled. 159. That's amazing. Chilled is our number one damage source. Sort of. It's... Technically, Force Pulse is our number one damage source. Technically. But they're very, very close. That is insane. Insane. Meanwhile, Macabre did very little to her. But its stats are so good that it doesn't matter. Like, its stats are so strong. Because even though even though the proc didn't hit, it, st it still has 148 weapon and spell damage on the five piece. That's excellent. Excellent. Wow. Holy crap. 304k. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next excuse.